Hi, welcome back. Hopefully you watched the last video where I showed you how to compose your music. In this video I'm going to show you how to take the mod file that you created in that and actually get it to play back in your Game Boy game. Let's get started. So at the end of the last tutorial we had a mod file and I'm now going to show you how we take that mod file and actually parse it in something that GBDK can play. So the easiest way to get started is to go and download this code from my Git repository. I'll put the link below and actually just copy this sample out and use it as your main starting point. So these are the files from the GBTP player for the Game Boy Developer Kit. So these are actually quite old now and not going to get updated, but it still works. I still think it's the easiest way of doing it. And you can see there's a few files in here. We have a GBT player header file, a GBT player .s file, this is an assembly file, so it's different than the C that we write normally. This is like the pure machine code, it means it will run quite well. GBT Player Bank 1, which is to help with the memory banking to make sure that your music goes into a separate part of the memory from the game, giving you more room. Uh, Main.c, which you've seen that in lots of our tutorials, that's basically where the main game starts, and we'll look at that in a moment. Uh, a make.bat, which is a bit different than our normal one. And then this mod to GBT. So you can either go and compile this yourself, and again, I'll put a link to that, or I've included it in my Git repository so you can download that along with the code and run it for Windows. Anyway, it's compiled for Windows, this one. Um, and then the video demo mod is the one we just created in the demo. So I'm going to show you how they all go together in Visual Studio Code. So if we open up this demo in Visual Studio Code, you can see if we go through the set files again, we have a header file for GBT. BT player. You can see all the methods here, but these are basically pointing to code in these assembly files. And you can see if we look at these, these look quite a bit different than our C files, but that's all the code from GBT player um, that we can actually compile into our GBDK file and actually create our Game Boy game with. So they're effectively, you shouldn't touch them, you just include them in your file. We've got our make.bat, I'll come to that in a moment, and the main. So main as normal, we're going to bring in the GB h file from our gbtk directory um, and then we're going to bring in this gbt player header file by including it then we're having this external constant unsigned character song data basically this whole line is referring to some data that's going to get made when we run a command in a moment in in make.bat that will generate our song data as a c file from the mod file so that's referring to that in an external file the rest of this hopefully looks relatively familiar so we've got a main method um, we're doing this disable interrupts basically this stops the game boy doing any of the kind of things that it would normally do whilst we load up gbt play gbt player so we're going to run two lines one gbt play we're going to pass it song data, which is going to be from our mod file. Then the two second parameters here, you can see if I hover over, um, the first one is the data. The second one is which bank it's coming from. And again, you'll see in make how we do that. And the third one is the speed that you want. So you can speed it up and down. And then we're going to tell it to loop. So GBT underscore loop. And you either can enable it or disable it with a one or a zero. Then this line here is setting what's called a special interrupt. It's like a trigger that's going to happen when something in the hardware of the Game Boy happens. In this case, we are looking for this one, which is basically when it's finished drawing something onto the screen. So each time it draws onto the screen, it's going to call this. And so we're setting that interrupt to actually be set. And then we're enabling interrupts, putting them back on again, basically. So this is all set up. You just do this at the beginning of your main method before your main game. Now this while is typical of your game. If you looked at the other tutorials, it's basically our game loop. Uh, and it's got this. This is basically related to that interrupt. So this wait VBL done. Basically it's gonna wait until it's finished drawing the screen and pause our code here. And then as soon as it has, it's gonna call GPT update. This is gonna run the code in your assembly file that we've included here. And basically each time it hits this in our game loop, it will play the next line in our mod file and play our music. So you can put the rest of your game in here like you normally would, whatever you want to do in your while loop. As long as in each loop it calls this update method, it will continue to play your song. So you put your game 
basically in there. So that's that file, it's not too difficult. Now let's have a look at the make file because this is a little bit difficult, different than we've normally had. So the first line is it's going to run this mod2gbt file. And that's basically going to take our mod file, which is the first thing we pass to it. It's going to create a new file, um, a new C file, and it's going to call that song, or it's going to give that part of the name of the song. So that's where this song underscore data comes from. You could call that whatever you like, but you'd have to go and change that song underscore data. This minus C tells it that it wants it out as a C file for GBDK. And then the last bit, this two, is telling it that that's the memory bank to go and look, to, sorry, it's the memory bank to create the data into, and you'll see what that looks like when it creates it. Then we've got four um, compile lines, LLC compile lines, like we've had before. So normally we only have this, but this time we're gonna output um, this output file, which is what's going to get generated by mod to GBT, and we're going to take the GBT player from the assembly file and the GBT bank one. So all of these are going to get compiled individually. And then this last one is outputting our GB file called music.gb, taking all those O files that got generated from above and a few other bits to kind of sort out the banking. So you're going to want to copy this pretty much as it is for your compile. Then it's just deleting the unused files that aren't needed once we've done that and then just pausing the screen so we can see what's going on. So let's try running that because then you'll see what's uh, what this all works like. So we're going to run make.bat. So if I scroll back up to the top, you'll see the first thing it does is call mod to GBT. It says it's going to output to bank2 because that's what we said here. Confirms that it loaded via video demo and that it's valid and that the song title in there is called Untitled. It's confirming all the sample names in that file. There's only one pattern, that's what we wrote in there. It converts the pattern to pattern zero, and then it's done. So all of that will have generated this output.c that you can see has magically appeared here. And this is a C file of all of our song data. And we've only got one song, and it's just putting it in three times. So that's that file that's actually going to get put into song data. That's how it's kind of lining that up because song data is down here. So that's what generated. And then in the rest of the make.bat, you can see it uses this output.c as the next step. So that's what it did here. It took main, ignore some of these errors. They're just like line spacing or blanks. Uh, and then it took the output, put them all together, and finally we'll have created our GB file. So if I now go and have a look, you will now see I have a music.gb file. And if I go and open that in GBD, there's our music playing. I think that's pretty close to what it sounded like in the tracker. So if we go back to open MP open MPT and just play that a sec. It's certainly recognizable. Here's what it will actually sound like on the real hardware. You see it sounds a little bit nicer, but effectively that is everything now we've shown you. How to create your mod file in the tracker, how to actually export that out, how to then use that in your code base and how to compile that into your game. So this is a simple example. When you actually mix that in with your game code, it's gonna get more complicated. If you want to make a really large piece of music, you're gonna to have to go and look at some of the documentation for GBT about how you put that into extra memory banks. But this should be for most of us when we're creating a simple game, the easiest way in my opinion to add some music to your game. Hopefully that's everything you need. As ever, ask questions and I'll try and answer them. But hopefully that's uh, us back on track, getting some more tutorials out there. That's all for now. Make sure you subscribe and we'll see you next time.